Hello, welcome back, Josh, Sam, and anyone else who's watching to Live and Die. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> here we go. Uh, we've got a few ins and outs to be done, and then we're going to play the uh, uh, we're going to play the what's it called, the Ukrainian Super Cup. Um, for it is super, and we are Lviv. Um, we are yet to find out who our qualifying games are for Europe. Uh, we'll maybe find that out soon, but I think we'll have to wait until maybe here to, before we get uh, through to that stage so for now we're just going to play Shakhtar and Obolon and I'll go through some of our fi uh, uh, not our fixtures our transfers so we have sold a few players um, Taffy Lee uh, got upset wanted to leave wouldn't resign a contract off he leaves 1.5 million pounds uh, to Karelia Sovietov Wings of the Soviets um, so thank you sir uh, we also sent out Boris Ortega on loan because uh, he's not improving very much considering he's not playing very much. So he's gone off to uh, Israel. Uh, we then sold Mamut to HP uh, Korga in the uh, Super League in Denmark. We got rid of Narsifu Aboji who left uh, having had quite a good career with us. Um, a fair few seasons where he was a starter. Um, but he went on a free and is no longer is currently not being picked up by anybody. Uh, similar story with Yaya Bamba. Uh, never really came on as well as he should have done, in my opinion. Did well on loan at uh, Olympia. I kept trying to get money for him, but these clubs just couldn't offer him the wages that he wanted, apparently. So off he pops. Uh, another player out on loan, Alejandro Perez, who needs a little bit more first team that he wouldn't be getting here. So he's gone to Independiente. Um, we then lost Oleg Yegorov on a free but that's no big worry and we sold Miguel von der Putten for £900,000 uh, to Martimio in the is that the Portuguese Premier League it is so off he goes uh, he was our first one of our hang on one of our first signings when we came to the Premier League he did okay um, in fact I think he joined us for the January that year that we went up uh, he did okay he never quite never quite got to be as good as we hoped he might be I thought he could be the um the new Mancia, but uh, no, he's gone and he's earned us some money. So that's one three point four million in, um, and then on signings that we've made, Alexis Carvacho, um, he comes in from Chile, from Universidad Universidad de Chile. Uh, he looks pretty good, um, technically and creatively, definitely. Um, he's in the first team. He'll be sort of getting rotation games. Uh, s other players that have joined have mostly gone into the under twenty ones. Alexander Romanov, uh, he's gone into the under twenty ones. He's a right back. Um, then there was uh, Michal uh, Novosad as uh, another player who's gone into the under 21s uh, hopefully we can get some money back from him uh, Alexander Vinko has got the same he's actually pretty good uh, then there was Ariel Sandoval who's a goalkeeper who's joined the uh, young under 21 team um, hopefully he can sort of develop a little bit and maybe in a couple of seasons become our sort of backup goalkeeper um, then a player that will probably end up sort of playing in the first team a bit is uh, Vangel Hajigayev. Uh can't see an easy name, easy word, but Hajigayev is actually quite an easy name to say. Um, he's pretty good uh, for 18 years old. Uh, he's quite tasty, so I'm, I'm putting him into the first team to get some good experience with us. And then there's also Tomasz uh, Pampurla, who's a left midfielder uh, who has a similar level of sort of uh, current skill and could potentially mo uh, move on to being quite a decent player. Um, so hopefully that can happen and we can get some money for him um, there's been a definite change in the status of the club uh, and by which I mean hang on, excuse me a second there's been a definite uh, increase in the status of the club and by which I mean that all the players now uh, expect a little bit more money so whereas before I could get most of my starters on about 2000 to 3000 pounds Per week now they all want between five and six thousand pounds per week. That's I guess because we're starting to win things a lot more. Um, so pff, we'll have to see how all these things sort of add up in the end. Um, but yeah, it's oops, whoa, no, did not mean that. Um, yeah, it, 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 it we'll see how that affects things uh, because it has meant re-signing players has become quite a costly expense and. Um, new players coming in even if they're on freeze are now a lot more costly um, the problem that I'm having in that sense is that we tried to re-sign where is he Lasher 
tried to resign Nazarenko onto a new contract. He currently isn't interested, although I'm hoping that if we can get him just before Christmas, we can maybe get him to resign um, for us because he's a pretty good player. Uh, yeah, and 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 that's annoying. Um, and also, then anyone that does want to join, uh, rejoin wants a lot of money. So, for example, we re-signed. Um, who was it? There was a defender, uh, Fabry re-signed uh, for a new season. He was really good. So Adam Blazek there, he's in the centre-back role. He's not good enough to start this game, so he won't. Um, and we'll have Barshan there. Maybe Barshan can actually play instead of uh, Fabry. Um, yeah, it's just it's just sort of moving from being an average team or a below average team to being a quite high average team. Uh, it's going to be a costly expense for us, basically. This, this is the way that life is, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but it does mean that we're going to have to work out how we can improve things without breaking the bank. Laban on the bench. In fact, Laban can start because I want to try and win this cup. And who else we got? We've got Bakur, Fabri. So we need a midfielder in the centre. Mladenovic. But I'm actually going to start Mladenovic. That's my intended first team for this season. Sandoval? Who's he? Hang on. Who's Sandoval? Oh, God. Okay, so I've left the backup keeper in goal. That was silly. But whatever. Give him a chance to make his debut, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I'll need to pay attention to that before the Obalon game. Someone mentioned that to me. Uh, it doesn't really matter if we win this, obviously. It's only the Super Cup, but it would be nice to continue our... Um, Ascent to the top of Ukrainian football by winning as much as we possibly can do. Oh, and see now, I said his name was easy to say, but I can't say it. Had Hajigayev, Hajigayev, Hajigayev. Um, oh, go on. Oh, mate, what was that? Was that like a slide tackle on the ball on its own? It was like on FIFA where you where you press um, slide tackle and then you don't really need to have done it, but it delays it slightly and then he just kicks it randomly. Nazarenko now puts the ball in the middle. He does, but Natale was there to clear. Uh, we, we've been made second favourites to win the league. Uh, that was part of the um, increase in stature of the club. Uh, I noticed that the bookmakers, having last season said we were maybe fifth or sixth favourites to win the league, and the year before that saying we were relegation favourites, we're now second favourites to win the league. So that's, I guess, partly to do with the reason. That's partly why all our players want lots more money now. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but we've still got lots of players uh, who, are, who are sort of uh, to be joining the club. Rosic, lovely play, but he doesn't finish. Um, the main thing is we haven't sold Rosic, we haven't lost Kubistel, and we haven't lost Handanovic, um, and we also haven't lost Gogoa uh, or Barshan or anything like that. Uh, Rosic puts through, but I would have thought he was offside. It looked like he was marginal, um, but no, and it was a good save from the keeper. Labant's got the ball now, Gogoa. To Mladenovic, great ball through. Rosic unable to get there, but Gogua has the ball again. We seem to be putting our stamp on this game quite early on, and Hajigayev puts the ball wide. Unfortunate stuff. 21 minutes gone. We look like we've had the better of the chances, but it's been fairly even, I'd say. Now then, we've got a chance to break. Could be still running on. Can he go round his man? He Well, he does, and does a terrible, terrible shot afterwards. Um, another sort of slightly worrying thing is Rosic scored his first goal for um, Serbia oh great save um, in the World Cup I think I don't know if he was actually playing in the World Cup or if it was just a friendly um, but yeah which means that his uh, overall uh, his overall um, value is going to go up and, and people are going to notice him a little bit more Vinogradov I mean, Vinograd would be like Wine City if you if you got rid of of so like his name is Wine City of Wine Wine City. Strange. Anyway, he's taking his time to get off the pitch. Vinogradov, get off. Vinogradov, Vinogradov. Anyway, Tinguina, Robertinho. They are playing mostly their first team, although I've never heard of this Vinograd guy. Oh, good effort from Adenovic. He has scored like that before. I remember one towards the end of last season, which was pretty spectacular. Uh, but not this time. Hernandez now going to put the ball in the middle. Gonzalez clears. Romanenko. And now Hajigayev. He's going to need a, he's going to need a nickname. I can't call him Haji. That's, oh, Kubistel. Kubistel. Oh, God. Hajigayev up oh, the ball in the middle, but Rebas clears. 
Gonzalez out back up to Labant. We're straight away back in it, which is good. Keeping the pressure on. Could be a stealth fouls in the box. So, yeah, I'm uh, fairly confident for this season. Gogwa puts the ball over the bar. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, without that same terrible run of form that we we suffered at the beginning of last season, if we can avoid that, we should be challenging for honours on all fronts, um, at least um, at least domestically. The aim is to, to qualify for the next round of the European Cup as well, or the Europa League, obviously, this is, what is the one that we're in. Um, the aim is to stay in that... Well, we've obviously got to qualify for the group stage, but the aim is to get um, out of the group stage uh, through the other side and be maybe into the quarterfinals of the uh, Europa League. Uh, actually, Ukraine's st- standards in Europe have dropped because we were the only team in Europe after Christmas. Oh, it's at the post. We were the only team from Ukraine in um Europe after Christmas and we got immediately we were only in the Europa League so our um what would you what do you call it the um coefficient rating oh but it's offside <laughs> um yeah their coefficient rating has dropped um and that means that we've not got two people in the group we've we've still got two people in the Champions League but neither of them start in the group stage anymore um, which we did last season. We started in the group stage. Now they have to try and qualify for the group stages. So we need some improvement from Ukrainian teams. I guess us being in it now will at least give a, a guarantee of someone decent being in there. Uh, but you'd hope that teams like Shakhtar and Metal East and Kruvbas could actually sort of pull their weight and uh, perform, hopefully with slightly kinder draws. I mean, we had quite a poor draw in terms of, um, I mean, a good, cool draw, but a poor draw in terms of coefficient and keeping that high. Uh, last season so hopefully this season we can get a bit more dominance in Europe win a few game, win a few more games that will help us and uh, try and get as far as we can in Europe to try and keep that up so that when we do win the league next time we can go straight into the Champions League group stages because that is a lucrative journey although not as much as in real life anymore because this game is from 2011 but you still do get a fairly big chunk of money. And I think I will, we'll still get some money for being in the Europa League group stages, but uh, yeah. Rosic. Now Rosic hits it, but Tinguinia saves. 70 minutes played. Idia puts the ball in. Sanchez heads over the bar. Fabri only just came on, is already over there injured. Not a good look. And now a corner from Idia to Sanchez again at the back post. Beats Nazarenko in the air, but is unable to keep his head up below the bar 73 minutes gone it's been a fairly nip and tuck game not very much going on we've had plenty of fairly decent chances you'd think against possibly a worse goalkeeper we might have scored one or two Hajigaev had his chance on his debut but puts the ball over the bar in fact in fact according to the stats we've been utterly utterly dominant Uh, two of those shots that it says there were those headers over the bar so we've been completely dominant of uh, Shakhtar in this game just some Fairly wayward finishing or lacklustre finishing. Rosic, though. Rosic scores 1-0. First goal of the season. Can he? I think he got... I will check after the game. Um, remind me. We'll check after the game and see what uh, the amount of goals he scored last season were. Um, Shakhtar kick off. They do have a, kick, a free kick. And Sanchez, a third ball headed over the bar. Not a good look from him. Lviv, okay, Ryabokan, Juric, Ryabokan, still not, oh, Romanenko, absolutely, just grazed, must have just grazed the bar there as it went past. Um, yeah, I want to see how many goals uh, uh, Rosic scored last season, see if he can try and beat it this year. Uh, I know that he broke our single season uh, goal scoring record for the league, which I think was held by Yantorno before he... Uh, before he had done it. I'm not actually sure if that's true. It might have been some like random regen from the 2030s. Um, Hajigayev clears. Handanovic gets there. Ryabokon, Ryabokon gets the ball. Now Juric puts the ball up to Handanovic. Handanovic. Handanovic has still got the ball. Tries to keep going, but Natale clears. And we've nicely left the ball to go out to waste a bit of time. This is what I like to see. Three minutes of injury time. Could we be about to win our second consecutive Ukrainian Super Cup? Hadjigayev, I don't like it. Hadjigayev, well, anyway, um, he puts the ball to the back post. Nobody was able to get there, though, unfortunately. 
And now we do have another ball, though. Nazarenko to Gonzalez. Gonzalez to Hajigayev. Mladenovic shoots, but it's a corner. 93 minutes. Is, only, is there even going to be time to take the corner? No, there's not. We've won. We've won in the Olympic Stadium in Lviv, in Kiev. Sorry. Lviv have won the Europa, uh, the Europa League. The, um, <laughs> the Ukrainian Suko. I don't know what's going on with me. My brain doesn't seem to be working. I haven't really spoke very much all day. It's spoken very much all day. Um, uh, Argentina uh, <laughs> beat Greece in the World Cup semi-final. Um, Krivbas have signed, uh, signed Eva Balbuena. Is he any good? He is not. For a lot of money for a player who's not that good. And uh, yeah, we did pretty well. Let's do a couple of things. So first off, tactics. I want to go to fixtures. I want to go to training. I want to go to tactics. I'm sure it's on tactics usually. All right, whatever. And I'm going to go to Rosic, and we're going to look at how many goals he scored last season. So it was 25 league goals, 34 in total, uh, including five in Europe and four in the uh, local cup. This season, he's got one in the uh, international room and a non-competitive goal. I don't think that's what it was. I think it was a very big competitive goal. Uh, the reason that I can't see the tactics that any of I want is because we were in a game mode. That's what I want to do. Thank you. Good. Right. £36,000. Lviv delighted. Um, understandably happy. Lviv win the Super Cup again at the NSC Olympiskia. Uh, that's the second year in a row. Two games in a row. Lviv have won the Ukrainian Super Cup. This is the beginning of a dynasty, my friends. This is the beginning of a dynasty. Let's see what that does for me in terms of where I am on this list. I've now overtaken Rodolfo Yontorno, and I am now second on the list of favoured personnel. I'm hoping to get up onto the icons list. ASAP. ASA freaking P, guys. Shakhtar defeat in the Super Cup. Um, Stefan Basan is out for five to six days. That's fine. He wasn't actually playing very well, it appears. Um, we did very well. Uh, yeah. Da -da -da -da. They had their. Well, I don't think it was questionable. I think it was absolutely, definitely true. Uh, we And we did that without the proper goalkeeper, so that's not so bad. Um, right. One problem is you can't look at... So I'd love to know where that... Sta I, I, I'm pretty sure that is the uh, the national stadium in, in, in Kiev. But I'd love to be able to click on that. I think you can do that on the later games. I'm pretty sure Sam has done it before on his one. Um, Romanenko becomes the youngest ever Super Cup player uh, for them. Okay, that's one of the reasons why we beat them, I'm sure. They were playing him. <laughs> uh, Mikhail Romanenko. He did okay, to be honest. He did okay. He didn't do badly. Um, he's not a great player, though. He might end up being one. He's only 16. Rotondale signs for Livorno. Anyone else interesting going on here? We've been offered Jerez. Uh, Logo is going to go back to Honved, or was it a different club he went to last season? Let's see. Well, I think it was Debrechen. Yes, it was. So he's going to Honved this season. Again, hopefully when he comes back, we'll be able to use him as a player, but maybe not. Um, Polonia Vashava have signed Yaroslavich, who used to play for us. They've signed him. You remember him? Uh, we sold him for 2.5 million. They've sold him for 4.5 million, which means I think I saw that we are going to get some money for it. Yeah, we get £500,000 over the next 24 months uh, as a result of that transfer, which is not bad at all. That means we basically made £3 million for nothing off of Yaroslavich. And now we get to play Obolon Kiev, who are not a great side. Uh, not the worst side. I think they may have drawn with us last season in one of our many frustrating results. Um, Argentinos uh, coming in for Big Seb. If it's a good bid, I might say, ooh. How much did we buy Big Seb for? 900,000. I think we could sell him. There you go. Jose Luis Garcia from Godoy Cruz. Uh, he's not that good. And he's worth 3.3 million. Jesus. Um, Basilepo. Yeah, I, so I've been, um, I've in fact offered him a deal. Or at least I think I've bid for him um, to Slovan. I tried to sign him, I think, last season, and he refused my contract. I think I got the bid accepted, but he refused to actually sort of uh, negotiate with me. Uh, Tis ever thus. Yeah, here we go. So they have rejected my yeah, <laughs> rejected my bid, which was 
1 million and they've accepted Liverpool's bid of 5.25 million. Well, I'm not going to be bidding 5.25 million because I won't be able to afford any wages and I definitely won't be able to uh, play him alongside our three other sensational strikers. So the plan essentially is to uh, supplement our team with youth players rather than having a couple of very good players just sitting on the bench. Um, so we've got uh, Petrenko and um, Dobrynet, I think his name is, uh, that fella... Oh, okay. So the World Cup final is going to be Croatia versus Argentina. Um, yeah, those two young Ukrainian strikers we've got uh, are going to sort of be our back up for the uh, first team strikers if any of them get injured. Uh, Golovchenko signs a new contract. That's good. The question that I have to ask is oh, maybe. Hang on, let's do this first. Uh, it gives us confidence. I'm hoping the break went well. Been working hard. I've got a regular team in mind. We'll have to wait and see. Peter is crucial. There's a lot of interest in our side. No, not at all interest in our side. Good. That one. Mladenovic. Tactics. Let's just see if because we won a cup, maybe he'll be more interested in... No. Okay, that's a shame. Uh, I would really... The thing is as well with him, like you have to kind of sell him now to get any money for him. I don't want to sell him because I think we need him. Um... That's where the struggle is, really, because he is really good, and I'd really rather keep him for the last year and win the league, and then have the chance to sign someone slightly better than to get rid of him now, f flop in the league, which is possible, especially with defensively, we're not strong anyway, or at least we you know when it's not the strongest part of the club. Um, so you, they're interested in Adam Blazek, who is no. He's interested in Daniel Rosic, which absolutely not. He's giving us a bid for Andreka, who's I think he's pretty good. Yeah, no, I'm not letting him out. Reject. See, this is what I've been sort of juggling all through the uh, off season. Our youth team beat the Obalon youth team, which is nice to see. Uh, Bolton survived in the Premier League. Let's see what's going on in England very quickly. Um, Charlton's still up there. Leicester up there, Leeds up there, Dagenham and Redbridge up in the Premier League. Uh, last in the Championship, Western Superman nearly. They are predicted, they surely must be predicted to do better. No, only 19th. They are running out of money, I think it's fair to say. Um, yeah, they're struggling quite a lot, uh, Western, so they might be going all the way down. Um, Eastbourne Borough up in the Championship, as everyone thought they should be, along with Hartlepool, Haven't and Waterlooville, Crawley. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Southport, of course, and York down the bottom there, having just been relegated from the Premier League. Um, League One, we've got Everton uh, finally making their debut, their, their, their bow back in the third division after four divi four years. Gary Huff, uh, Dan Huff's um, probably grandchild at this point, playing for them <laughs> as vice captain. Um, and yeah, Casa, ben ha Casa Benfica, the Andorran side, losing 7 0 on aggregate to. Shaz Shawzar Shawzor. I'm not sure how to say that. I'm not sure so how to say that. <laughs> God, I'm a funny guy. God, I'm a funny guy. God, I'm a funny guy. Guys, I'm really funny. I think I might be really funny. Uh, luckily, Obalon is next, as I said, so it should be a relatively easy game. He says, whilst, um, and I was going to say whilst touching wood, but I'm actually, <laughs> I'm not touching any wood. Touch wood is a, is a saying, that's what it means, I'm not holding my erect penis. <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weird video. It's been a weird day, guys, it's been a weird day. <laughs> Nothing particularly weird has happened, but I am tired. Um, Reading has signed Lakic. See, this guy is another one that I wanted to sign, but he just won't. He's not interested. He's good. He's not interested at all. Uh, Sonogo has reported on Mihail Mihailo Spak, who's not really getting very much better. Um, how much is he worth? I wonder if we could sell him. Is he worth two hundred and forty thousand pounds? Okay, so not as much as he, a couple of years ago. He was worth like one point nine million pounds. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> Strain has signed for Neva Venezia. 
Neva Venezia. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, let's focus on Obolon now and less of these weird sayings that I'm saying in my head. And hopefully, uh, next video we do, it won't be inside the transfer window, so you don't have to watch me like slowly sim through each uh, week. Right. Lviv versus Obolon. We've got a fairly good game, a uh, fairly good record against them. Let's hope that we can continue that here. Let's bring on Fabri. Blazek can come into the side as a substitute. Nikolov, how good is he compared to... Actually, how good is he compared to Nazarenko? Because if Nikolov's not that much work... Oh, he's not as attacking, but he is just as good defensively, and he's 19. We could try and get some money for Nazarenko. And then, do we do we have a under-21 right back? Blazek. Mm, this is an interesting proposal, Wheatland. I'll think on that afterwards. For now, we'll play... Mm, no, we won't. We'll play Nikolov, and we'll see how that goes. Um, and I think we'll leave the rest of the team as basically the same as we can. Oh, hang on. That's the way around. That should be good. Um, we'll sort out the midfield now then. Uh, so let's bring... So Mladenovic did well, but let's take him out of the side. He's also tired, so let's bring in... Maybe Carvacho can have a uh, spot on the bench. Uh, we can also give uh, Hajigayev is tired, so maybe we can swap him out for Bakur. But up front, we don't need to make any changes. Two players in the match day squad will need to be registered. That's fine. Um, a job is up front. I wonder if he'll be able to do a job for them. <laughs> Arnold Job. <laughs> Come on, Albania. Get some better names. That can't be where he's from. Al Arnold Job. No, yeah, he's Cameroonian, but <laughs> it was a strange freaking name. All right, anyway, <laughs> the, the, the black Albanian called Arnold Job. <laughs> anyway, home game against Lviv. Um, uh, sorry, home game against Obolon. Let's see what we can do. Let's go out there and make some goals happen. Could be still not booked for a early challenge. That's good. Matkiewicz. Now, the, the thing is, what happened last season, if you'll remember, was we won the uh, Super Cup on penalties against Chona Moretz. And then we won our first game of the, the league, first league game of the season, 3 0. And that then led into, I think, six games in a row where we didn't win. Uh, and. That's what I want to avoid this time around. So this game, if we win it, fine. I don't know if you noticed when we look at the fixtures earlier on, the, the first game that we have to play after this is actually against Chakhtar. So if we can win that early doors in the season, that can really put a marker down for the rest of the year for us because I think they only lost three times last season and one of them was a 6-0 loss to us. Um, we need to basically draw with them both times and... Uh, hope to win in order to have any chance of winning the league um, and then also try not to lose against anyone else would be good um, the, it's weird this league has very little room for wiggle um, even less so than the Polish league because the Polish league is much less quality so they all seem to just beat each other but here Shakhtar are already leagues ahead of everyone else so uh, them Metalist Krivbas uh, to, to a lesser extent oh Rosic has scored his first league goal of the season after 24 minutes Lovely stuff. Um, yeah, to a lesser extent, Denit Pro. Uh, there are a series of big teams in this league, and then everyone else is very much also Rams. So the fact that we're now part of the bigger set, I think is, it says a lot uh, for how fucking great I am as a manager. Excuse me. Uh, but it's also um, it makes it a little bit harder to dominate, and it also means that you're... Uh, yeah, as I said, wiggle room is not as um, large because no other team is going to drop points to any other team, really. Uh, lovely goal there from Rosic, yet again, 2-0 up, two early goals. He's already well on his way to scoring as many as he did last season. Um, if he could get 40 in a season, that'd be great. I'm not sure if I've ever had a player who scored more than 50 on Football Manager. I don't remember the most prolific seasons of players like Cunningham or... Uh, before him, Pedersen, and way back when on Football Manager 10, uh, there was uh, Maravilla. Actually, to be fair, he probably did score. He, he was just insanely good, uh, Maravilla, uh, the the, Bel the Belgian wonder kid, um, but for Notts County. He, he made something like, he, he uh, I'm pretty sure he 
made something like 800 appearances over his career and scored 500 goals. Like he was just ridiculous. He was absolutely insane. And he spent the last four years of his career at Dortmund, um, basically ruining his uh, goal scoring record. Uh, Gonzalez back to Labant. Gonzalez again. Kubistel, Mahmoud, Mahmoud smashes the ball into the top corner. Oh, what a lovely goal to start off his season. That is 3-0 against Obolon, and we are probably at the top of the table by now. We are we are up the top there. Krivbas, one of those teams that we will need to be trying to stay ahead of, already winning. Mahmoud smashes that ball to the top. That's what we like to see. Shakhtar currently drawing 0-0. We'll uh, hope that that stays the same, but I'd be surprised if it does. Rosic. Rosic goes past his man. Kornuk manages to save. Rosic has still got it, though. Labant puts the ball in the middle. Kubistel, could he have a goal as well? No, not yet, anyway. Kubistel keeps going, keeps going. Puts the ball wide. That's unfortunate. Um, Shakhtar, yeah, still scoring none. Uh, they are playing away to Olympic Donetsk. Had a good season last season. Maybe they're a bit more of a prospect than um, you'd think happy with your performance so far that has been really really good let's keep going let's not have too many more yellow cards please central but defenders uh, who are looking complacent Michal Fabri, Fabri for example uh, I've also considered I'm also just sort of thinking I often seem to sell players as soon as they turn to 30 but for example if Fabri is able to he's 29 now I signed him on a new two or three year contract he could see that out and it wouldn't be insane because it's not like this league is so competitive that the uh, that the drop off for him would be hard to to sustain. Unlike in like the Premier League where you'd need to have just the best players. Job puts the ball over the bar. Did not do a job. <sighs> Makes me feel sad. Anyway, during <laughs> oh dear, that was a very poor ball. Gogwa attacked by David Gabadzi in midfield. He's taken a yellow for his trouble. It is Gonzalez on the ball now. What's he going to do with it? Short to Gogua, to Juric, to Labant. Can we get a hat-trick for Rosic in the first game of the season? Puts the ball in the middle. Matkiewicz clears just about. Levchenko now has the ball on the left-hand side of, as he sees it. Interesting ball. Straight way back from their player, whose name I've forgotten. And cleared. Oh, looks like Shakhtar is still drawing with Olympic. That's not bad. Oh, Bako clears. Kubistel heads the ball on, but Matkiewicz gets there. He would have been offside if he'd won that header. Rosic gives the ball back to Gogua, who puts a huge ball over the top. Rosic to run onto it. Matkiewicz, oh, I thought he won a penalty, but he didn't. Uh, it was apparently a dubious decision, but that's fine. We're already 3-0 up. Um Maric now to Gogua. Gogua to Kubistel. Kubistel to Rosic. Rosic goes past one, puts the ball in the middle, but it was well saved by the goalkeeper who finally makes a save for Obolon. 67 minutes gone. Job in the middle there, giving the ball back to Beria. Now then, what can we do to spice things up? Let's do that. Let's give Han Had Hadjik. Right, you need a nickname, mate. Uh, let's look. Vangle. 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 Va He's honoured to be at the same because Oh, that's nice. Um, let's call him Vangle. Bulgarian Vangle. Just to make sure that nobody mixes him up with any of the other Vangles. <laughs> Um, and why not? Let's take off Mahmoud as well and bring on Carvacho for a chance at his debut. It's taking the piss a little bit on the first game of the season playing the youth, the youngsters, but whatever. <laughs> um, we got away with it as well with our right back, who's who's a relatively young player as well. Maric now to Chagel, Chagelishvili. They've got a load of... There is a lot of good Georgian players coming through. It happened as well in um, Shlansk. Um, we had a couple of good players. I remember a uh, big lasher or whatever his name was. Um, Beria, not Beria, the name of the head of the KGB under Stalin. Gonzalez clears Beria, has a shot, but it smashes it over the bar. It's unfortunate, but it is the way it is. Anicic, our new goalkeeper, our new first team goalkeeper, 
um, brought in at the end of last season. I got told he was one of the worst signings of the season, which I think was harsh considering I had deliberately signed him with the intention of taking over from our other goalkeeper, Taffy Lee. Rosic now gives the ball into the goal. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> a hat trick for uh, Daniel Rosic on his first game of the season. Uh, unfortunately, it's quite a while until the transfer window shuts, so hopefully he doesn't attract too much interest and gets sold. Um, but yeah, three on his opening game, not bad. Uh, I guess he'll take it. Um, if he does that every game, he'll end up with uh, <laughs> 90 goals. <laughs> <laughs> At least, uh, that's only the league games of course as well uh, whistle goes for full time we beat them 4-0 well done lads good win for us let's see if anyone else has managed to overscore us no we are top of the league Volin oh wow Shakhtar were, draw, were held to a draw by Olympic that's a good result for us already that's put us ahead of them um, doesn't mean that we will stay ahead of them by that much but uh, let's hope we do and that's the end of that season then. Uh, this, this season, that's the end of the video, I guess. Um, Lviv winning 4-0. Classy Rosic on, on form. Carvacha makes his debut. Uh, Aitide signs for Hamburg. Hamburg? That was Hamburg, wasn't it? Yeah. Or Hanover. I think it's Hanover. I think it might be Hamburg. To say that particular result was on the cards, well, it was an absolutely great win. Uh, Daniel's amazing, Daniel's outstanding I don't really want to discuss that I am pleased he's playing well right? that's the one yeah we never stop looking for ways to improve the team by, by the next video I suspect I will have signed someone else um, either as a right back to replace Nazarenko um, possibly a striker depending on what happens with Mr Rosic because uh, I think if we go here we'll see that he's oh no he's got his first goal for Serbia six, get six caps uh, it doesn't actually say whether or not he's the he's interested. He's actually feel pressured by that. Uh, tr how do I look at it? Transfer. There you go. Okay, so Ross, uh, so uh, Liverpool, for example, are into. I've put his asking price at fifteen million. I understand that we won't be able to s we keep him, um, but if they pay fifteen million for him, then that's fine. I can buy in a couple of good players. Uh, but yeah, so that's what it is. That's what the league table looks like. It's only been one game. We're top. Um, and if we look at the fixtures, I'm still not sure exactly what stage of the European Cup we, or the Europa League we come into and exactly when we will play that. So uh, we, although we do have, I mean, these four games are going to be a tough set of cookies to play, but I expect we'll be back around here uh, depending on when that draw gets made. No, it would, I mean, you'd think it would be there because, I mean, the Europa League surely doesn't start until September. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll see you for depending on how interesting the Europa League draw is. Uh, that otherwise for the uh, group stages. So see you later, guys. Bye 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 bye.